you're not going to get away with this. Not this is Hillary Clinton. Whoa! Boo! I agree. Millie Weber reporting for Infowars.com. I'm here in Austin, Texas, where Hillary Clinton is scheduled to start her book signing, and you have lots of liberals, mostly women, lined up ready to go and meet Hillary Clinton to get their What Happened books signed. Let's go see what they have to say and see if this shirt triggers them. From the looks of it, from what I can tell, it seems as though everyone is waiting on Hillary Clinton's arrival. They've got this gate in the back entrance of the bookstore open. They have their staff waiting there, and they have another door open. Videotape this guy. Here he comes. Here he comes. All right, so this guy's coming over. Okay, so that's one of Hillary Clinton's staffers. He made it like... Ah, I don't know, 95% of the journey to come over and approach me and talk to me. And then he stopped and did an about face and turned around and walked away. And the real question here is, is she going to have an ambulance as part of her motorcade? Here we go. All right, here it is right here. Hillary Clinton. Here's her motorcade. I don't see her... Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, they're gonna shut the gates. There they are, shutting the gates. She's not even gonna come and say hi to anyone. They're having a little bit of technical difficulties with their gate, it seems like. on the sidewalk though, just off property. Is that okay? Well, you know, we were planning on walking down that direction anyway. Okay. Um, but is this, this cons is private? Property. This is private property? We don't have anything to do with that event. We're just here with the property owner. You're here with the property owner? Okay, yeah, we're heading down over here. We were heading there anyway. Just to be on public property, you'll be great. Thank you so much. This guy just lied and said that he's just with the property owner when he was back there with Hillary Clinton's staff and he's radioing in to them. <laughs> oh. I am excited to meet the people who want to meet Hillary Clinton more than anything. Really? Yes. The queen of the death cult, the American death cult. That's about all I have to say. What do you think about Hillary Clinton selling some of our uranium to the Russians? Fake news. That's fake news? Really? Do you, do you, yeah. Hillary Clinton, as the chairman, approved this deal. To quote the good bard, the lady doth protest too much. What do you think about Bill Clinton and having all these women come forward about raping them? What do you think about Alex Jones's ridiculous behavior on air and his ranting and raving? I see you're using his network, though, and you've got you know, his propaganda imprinted on your brain. But don't you think that Hillary Clinton as a woman, if she's really for women that haven't been, you know, sexually assaulted and stuff, don't you think she should have divorced Bill? Have a nice day. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, somebody got triggered here. That, you don't, don't grab my microphone. I won't grab any of your personal items, ma'am. Doesn't scare you, are you a little snowflake? <laughs> Doesn't scare me, but, but I have boundaries here. <laughs> You're so pathetic. Yep, dirty looks, hostility. Hello. I wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, is it because of my shirt? Is it because of my shirt? I think it's because you work for that trash organization. Because yeah, of InfoWars. Because of InfoWars? Which is a, if you want to talk about fake news, let's talk about what you guys do and, and, and how you're not real journalists. Let's talk about CNN, NBC, all of these other mainstream media organizations that have been caught in fake news over and over oh, time yeah. and time again. Yeah, give me an example. Give they, me were, an example. they were pushing that Trump was lying mm -hmm. about having been spied on 
by the Obama administration, okay? And guess what? Then later they had to say, oh wait, we were wrong. While Infowars all along was saying, no, we have sources that say that that was true. And guess what? It came out in congressional hearings that yes, Trump was being eavesdropped on. Mr. Clapper and Ms. Yates, uh, did either of you ever request the unmasking of Mr. Trump, his associates, or any member of Congress? Um, uh, yes, in, in uh, one case I did. I'm sorry, I need for you to go because you are upsetting people. I need for you to go. We care about our customers. Hey, this hey, is a customer let's event. both go. You need to go or we're going to call other people to come get you out of here. You need to go or we're going to call other people to come get you out of here. I'll get you, I'll get you. And when I do, you're going to be busted. Call him. Call him. Do you know where I'm standing right now? That's the funny part. Do you know where I'm standing? I'm standing. You're being inappropriate and you know you're being inappropriate. Please go. You guys are really like... This is like tyrannical right here. You don't believe in the First Amendment, do you? You're, you are you are being inappropriate. You are upsetting people. You need to go. Are you upset? Is that why you have upset people? You know you did it. You need to go. What about the secret but service? here's You're being very inappropriate. You send the Secret very Service here then. Inappropriate, and you need to go. Send the Secret Service. Send the police. Actually, hi. Okay, she's upsetting yeah. people and she's causing an issue. Thank you so much. You're okay. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'm just standing here on a public sidewalk right now, in the public. If people are standing here, look, she's making sure people are okay. What? Okay. Okay. What happened? Donald Trump won. So Mount Nasty. See that one? What do you think about Bill Clinton, all these women having accused Bill Clinton of raping them? What are you doing standing in front of me, sir? So now, okay, this is exactly what Donna Brazil was talking about. It was a cult. I, I felt like it was a cult. You could not penetrate them. Cult-like behavior from Hillary Clinton's staff and private security. You're saying we didn't comply? Yeah, we just asked you to head off property, trying to be as polite as we possible. Are we are off property. This is a public well, we sidewalk. You to stop harassing our patrons. I'm not. I'm talking to whoever wants to talk. Some have freely engaged in discussion with me. I see other press organizations walking around talking to people. And they're not harassing people either, so it, it changes. I'm not harassing people. Harassing folks. That's this not is valid. Hillary Clinton. Whoa. <laughs> I agree. You suck. No, this is private property. No, this is private property. Can we do it on the, on the sidewalk, though? Just off property? We'll it's let the police the decide, decide it. It's fine. This is great, you guys. I mean, you're really showing weird cult-like behavior. What brings you out here today? Why do you guys support Hillary? She knows how to tell the truth. Well, have you always told the truth? I've always tried to. Always. Always. Did you read her book, What Happened? That's why we're here. We're getting the book. <laughs> you're getting the book. Okay, Watch so you haven't read it yet. Watch, Watch your, your body. Elbow. If you're going to push your body into my elbow, we're then that's your like fault. We're trying to be cordial, so just no physical contact, okay? Um, excuse me, but when I'm standing here and he's pushing into me, pushing into my elbow, saying, Watch my elbow, he needs to watch his body. Okay, and not be assaulting me. Just don't be assaulting me. I'm invading your space, and when you wake up in the morning, all you'll see is this face. <laughs> what do you think about Bill Clinton having sexually assaulted women? He did not sexually assault women, considering that for sexual assault you need uh, okay, consent. You need to have move consent, up on the sidewalk, and I'm taking please. criminal law. Can we move up on the sidewalk, please? Excuse me, do not touch me, sir. I will file an, an assault charge on you. You do not touch me. I don't know. You're private security. You do not have the right to touch me. Well, she was in the middle of asking me something. Yeah, and he's he's okay, engaging in willful fine. dialogue. You don't have the right to touch me and push up on me, sir. I do not want you touching. Me. He was. So okay, you're saying that consent is the issue here, right? And are you referencing um, Monica Lewinsky? I am in tech, right? Uh, yes. Man, I just saw your T-shirt. I don't think we're gonna chat. <laughs> do Do you know about? But do you know what it's referencing? What 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 is referencing? Do you know what my shirt is referencing? Absolutely. What? 
I'm not talking. Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women, four of them here tonight. He had to pay an $850,000 fine to one of the women, Paula Jones, who's also here tonight. Why didn't Hillary Clinton leave Bill after Monica Lewinsky, Juanita Broderick, Kathleen yeah. Willey? I think that's... At Seriously, that is her business and not yours and not mine. She stood by her husband, and that's it. So, like, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. So, sir, why are you asking a group of Hillary people about Bill anyway? No, I know. Boo! Boo! I agree. You suck. I guess this is kind of what you get when you go to a Hillary Clinton book signing. A lot of nasty, rude behavior from nasty women. Did you vote for Hillary? Hell yes. What were your reasons? I say the main reason is because she was smarter than anybody on the planet and she should be there. What do you guys what do you guys think about some of the allegations of corruption? Hmm, there's always allegations against that woman. Poor Miss Hillary, she's for the rest of her natural life, that's what it's going to be, just allegations. There is evidence of criminality in the email scandal. We know that. There was a mountain of evidence of her guilt, which Jim Comey dismissed. What do you think about Donna Brazile saying that Hillary Clinton's campaign cheated and stole the primaries from Bernie Sanders? I don't understand why she would think that, and I don't think she said that, because first of all, Hillary won the primaries by votes. <laughs> we learned today from former Democratic National Committee Chairwoman Donna Brazile um, that the Clinton campaign, in her view, did rig the presidential nominating process. In August 2015, a year before she defeated uh, Senator Bernie Sanders, this must shock you. Look, this is a real problem. Did you guys read Hillary Clinton's book? Not yet. So you don't know what happened? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> You're not going to get away with this. <laughs> yeah. And Donald Trump is the one causing the distractions, and we are not going to fall for it anymore. What happened? I don't have anything to say to a propaganda machine like you guys. Carry on. Do you think that people should be able to have conversation and discussion without, like, getting all crazy, triggered, and even violent? Yes, we should have uh, just normal conversations. People are allowed to have differences, so what's the big deal? I'm, I don't care what they believe. I believe what I want to believe, and why can't I have that right to believe it? You know, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Should be that simple. Sure. What's up? So, what's going on? Are y'all? I'm just going around interviewing people. There's other media networks, and if people are like, you know, I don't want to talk, please go away, I carry on. But okay. then some of them get in my face, start hitting my thing, getting, you know, confrontational, and, you know, I kind of try to carry on with the discussion. These guys here, the two security that are part of this event, mm -hmm. have been pushing up against me. Now they're keeping a safe distance, but before they were literally pushing and elbowing into me, okay. trying to like keep me from walking a direction I want to walk. Okay. And so I you know, was having issues with those security guys. But All right, so it looks like the cop told those private security to back off and to not touch me, which I'm very happy that officer came out here and did that because it's not their right. Hillary's staff does not have the right to come out here and assault me, put their hands on me and touch me. I don't feel comfortable with a man putting his body up against mine without my permission, without my consent. But then again, this is what I'm trying to say that, you know, Hillary Clinton does not actually respect women when she's still married to a sexual predator such as Bill Clinton. And many of these women just don't seem to care. They don't seem to want to believe that or hear that message. But these staffers, these cult-like staffers of Hillary Clinton, they are not to stalk me. They are not to put their hands on me. This is Millie Weaver signing off for InfoWars.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 